So again, uh, this is a review for tomorrow's quiz and from the practice quiz, this is the one that people have missed the most. And the reason for that is they're asking you to write an equation in slope intercept form. So we know that slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So all we need to do is find a slope and find the y intercept. And it's really easy to do that, especially when it's visual to you, when you could actually see the slope and the y intercept. So when we look at this graph, we could definitely see the slope, but it's your, it's your responsibility to find those nice points, right? So right here is a nice point. And if you continue from left to right, that's not a nice point, that's not a nice point, that's not a nice point, down here it is. So let's count how much we're rising from left to right. Now keep in mind, we're not rising, we're dropping, which means it's a negative rise, okay? It's a negative rise. So with the highlighter, I wanna show you how I count. From this point, I'm going down one unit, two units, three units, four units. So that's really a rise of negative four and a run of one unit. Positive one is the run. So we should all conclude, and maybe that's the mistake that everybody's making uh, just by counting the, the slope incorrectly. Uh, what is the slope? The slope is negative four over one, which we could just say negative four, because negative four divided by one is negative four. All right, now the B value. All we need is the B value, and then we could write it in Y equals MX plus B. The thing is, well, I don't, it's not crossing, it's not crossing anywhere right here. And if I zoom out, that's all they show us, right? So th there's an arrow here, which means that it does continue, which means that if I were to go far enough on this line, it'll eventually cross somewhere up here. I don't know, we could guess, it looks like maybe 10 or 11 or nine, I don't know, somewhere up here it's gonna cross, right? Um, but guessing is obviously not a good thing. Um, so what could we do to write our equation? Well, let's, let's take a pause right here and let's not rely on our eyes to see the y-intercept. What do we have so far? We have a slope, okay? What else do we have? We have points, right? I mean, this whole line is composed of points. You could pick any points you want. You could pick, I wanna highlight this one, you could pick this one, that, or you could pick uh, this other nice one right there, right? So it, it's up to you. If you pick this top one, that would be the coordinate two, four, which is totally fine. Or you could pick the coordinate uh, three, zero. What do you guys wanna pick, two, four or three, zero? Two, four, two, four? okay. So this is a point, an x1, y1. And we know that if we do have a slope, and if we do have a point, we could write it in point slope form. Sorry about that. There is the point slope form that we need to have memorized. And whenever you apply point slope form, please rewrite it with blank spots. That way it'll be really easy uh, to plug in your values. If you plug in your Y1 value, that is four, you plug in your X1 value, that is two. When you plug in your M value, we said that that was negative four, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, this is your point slope form equation right here. I wanna highlight it. If the instructions say write it in point slope form, this is it. What do the instructions say? Nope, it says slope intercept. So slope intercepts y equals mx plus b, not point slope. So we are going to now distribute the negative four to get rid of the parentheses. And we're also gonna add four after that to get the y by itself and make it look like y equals mx plus b. So let's do that. Let's distribute the four. That's negative four times x, that's negative four x. Negative four times negative two, right? There's a negative two right there. That's gonna be a positive eight. Bring down the equal sign, bring down the y, the minus the four. Final step will be to add four right there and add four over here, giving us our equation y equals negative four x plus 12. Okay, so this one was a lovely problem, I would say. Um, because it, it requires you a lot, uh, a lot of steps. So thank you for sharing that with us. Um, what was said is that you could, there's an alternative way to find that B value. Since you know that it's going down four over one, you could go backwards with the pattern, over one, up four, over one, up four, over one, up four, and you will be able to get to 12. However, that's great. However, on the quiz, what if you're, what if your line is right here and it's steeper, 
So like maybe it's a negative six, right? So it's gonna be steeper. And maybe it doesn't cross to like 30 something, you know? So that, that'll be a little bit more challenging. So it's good to know this actual process that we got here. Okay, and again, I, I love this problem because it makes you really think about the graph itself. Um, it makes you take, analyzing the graph, take what you know to find out what you don't know. So we found out some points. We found the slope by counting. We used point slope form. And then after that, we changed it to slope intercept form. So that this question requires everything from this section. I think it's cool. And anyways, that's the one that most people missed. I hope everybody's able to get that one right on the quiz tomorrow. Let's take a look at the next question where a lot of people missed. It says write in point slope form. So point slope form is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. So obviously we need a slope and you need two nice points. Now they give you this point up here and this point down there, but you don't technically have to use the points that they give you. You could use this is a nice point right there. And if you did from left to right from that first blue one, you're going down two, so that's a negative two rise, and you're running three, that's a run of three. So your slope, your slope is m equals negative two thirds, okay? So there's your slope. And then after that, um, they want you to write it in point slope form. So we have some points, actually we have two points, and let's go with the first one. Let me type in or write in the point slope form again. So there's point slope form and here's the setup. Again, do this, that way you don't make mistakes. And if we use this first point, the negative three, positive three, that's your x1, y1. Technically you could use any points you want, but if we use these, you're gonna have a three right here. You're gonna have the slope of negative two thirds right there. And you're gonna have the x value of negative three in here. So you could clearly see the minus minus change the plus plus. Now, here's the thing. You gotta pay attention to the instructions. The instructions on this one say, write it in point slope form. Guys, this is, this is it, point slope form. Let's check and see if that's a multiple choice answer, which it is, it's right here. Now, if you didn't see this exact one, then maybe they wrote it like this, y minus blank spot equals blank spot parentheses x minus blank spot. And they might have used, let's say this coordinate over here, the three on the x and the negative one on the y. So negative one right here, uh, three right here, same slope, negative two thirds. That is a possibility where this would be a y plus one, okay? But obviously your multiple choice answers don't have the y plus one, but it is a possibility, right? Most of the time we use the first point from left to right that's available to us, but it is possible to write your equation with other coordinates. So I hope we understand that. Somebody might have uh, changed this by distributing two thirds. Um, if I were to say write it in slope intercept form, that's what you would have to do. Actually, no, if, if I said write it in slope intercept form, the easiest thing would be to just get your slope, which you already know, and your y intercept, which would be one, so your y equals mx plus b equation will be y equals negative two thirds x plus one. And that's, well, that's a positive two thirds x. But yeah, that's not what they're asking for. They're asking for point slopes form. So please be careful with the instructions. All right, uh, we did not do so great on this one as well. This is number 21. Um, but then again, your questions are mixed up when you take the practice quiz. It says write an equation in slope intercept form that has a slope uh, negative two thirds and has an X intercept at six. Okay, so they want slope intercept form. That's Y equals MX plus B. And they give us a slope. And they also indirectly give us a point. Because if they tell you that your X intercept is at six, what that really means, if you think about a graph uh, on the x-axis, it cross at one, two, three, four, five, six. And that point itself is the point six, zero. So we do have a point six, zero, and we have a slope of negative two thirds. So we are going to write it in point slope form, even though they're asking for slope intercept, we're gonna write it in point slope. 
because whenever you have a point and a slope, it's super easy to just plug it in. So once again, here is the way I would plug it into my point slope form. Y minus Y1, I would say Y minus blank spot equals M, blank spot parenthesis, X minus X1, blank spot. So we are plugging in our Y1 value of zero. We're plugging in this slope of negative two thirds right here. And we're plugging in our X value is six. So this is your point slope form equation, but they say slope intercept. So all you need to do is distribute your negative two thirds to get rid of those parentheses. And then of course, Y minus zero, that's just Y. So we will have Y equals, when you distribute negative two thirds times X, it's negative two thirds X. And when you distribute negative two thirds times six, this is where I'm gonna zoom in and show you how to do this. Negative two thirds times, now this is a negative six, right? There's a minus sign in front of it. We're gonna say negative six. And we're gonna put that negative six over one. And you simply multiply across the top. Negative two times negative six is positive 12. And then three times one is three. And 12 divided by three is four. So in reality, I have a positive four down here, a plus four down here. And ladies and gentlemen, that's your answer. Y equals negative two thirds X plus four, which is right here. I hope this makes sense. This one's another one that we struggled with. It says write an equation in slope intercept form of the line, type in your answer with no spaces between your terms. Slope intercept is what? Y equals MX plus V, right? So we have Y equals MX plus B. If I know my M, I simply plug it in right here. If I know my B, just plug it in right here. Now, we could see the M and the B. Now, the, the problem I'm thinking is that people see the B value, which is clearly right here. The B value is three. And then they try counting how much you rise and how much you run. But notice that that's not a nice point. So you actually have to go off the graph. So what I would say is pick two nice points. So obviously this is a nice point. If you're going this way, there are no nice points. If you go backwards, that's not a nice point. That's not a nice point. Neither is that one. A right here is a nice point. So I think this is the problem where some people, since they had to go backwards, they say, oh, it's a negative rise. That's incorrect. You got to look at lines from left to right. So once you see your two points, there's a point up here and a point down here. Once you see these two points from left to right, you're going up one, two, three, four, over one. So the slope is up four over one. Up four over one, which is just four. Anyway, now that we know our, M, our B value and our M value, now we could write it in Y equals MX plus B. And that would be your equation in slope intercept form of that line. Um, I thought that these were one of the easier questions. They, it should be one of the easier questions where you just count the slope and find out where it crosses the Y axis, the B value, and you have it in Y equals MX plus B. Which of the following equations is perpendicular to this one and passes through the point six one? Well, when they tell you perpendicular, what are they indirectly giving you? Slope. The slope, which is gonna be found by doing the opposite reciprocal of the slope that they give you right? Because perpendicular have opposite reciprocal slopes. So we know just by reading what's highlighted in blue, that our M value, whoops, that our M value will be negative one over three. That's, that's a fact right there. And then uh, we also know that they give us a point, which is six, negative one. So they give us a slope, they give us a point, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go for point slope form, especially because look at our multiple choice answers. Three of them are in point slope, only one of them is in slope intercept. So let's go for point slope form. And even if it were the slope intercept one, we could just modify it to get the y equals mx plus b form. But anyway, let's write down our point slope form. There's your point slope form equation. When you use the point slope form, uh, use blank spots. And then we plug in our uh, y value of negative one, our x value of six, and our slope of negative one third. 
and yes, minus minuses change the plus plus. And yes, we're going to distribute the one, negative one third times x. That'll simply be negative one third x. But when we distribute negative one third times, this is a negative six. Let's zoom in and show our work there. You have a negative one third times a negative six. Again, we're going to put that over one. We're going to multiply top with the top. What's negative one times negative six? It's positive six. Bottom with the bottom, three times one is three. Six divided by three is two. So when we distribute the negative one third times negative six, we get a positive two right here. So that's what I'm going to write, plus two. Now on the uh, left side of this equal sign, the equal sign's still here, and I have a y plus one on the left side. So there's an equal sign, y plus one. I hope everybody sees what I'm doing and understands it. Please stop me. If, uh, if you're not understanding certain steps that I'm doing. Um, finally, let's get that one to the other side. So we have y equals negative one third x plus one. And here's our slope intercept form equation. And that is right there. But then again, do we have our point slope form equation? Let's see. It was y plus one. There's a y plus one. Oh no, it doesn't have the one third, the negative one third. So that's about it. Oh wait a minute. No. Yeah, that's about it. So your answer is D. Next question, again, maybe the maybe you guys messed up on this because it says point slope, not slope intercept, right? Point slope, not slope intercept. So what do they give us right here? The word perpendicular means that they give us the slope indirectly. If it said parallel, it would be exactly the same negative one half. But it's not parallel, it's perpendicular, which means it's the opposite reciprocal, right? Opposite reciprocal. So you need to change that sign and flip the fraction to get your actual slope. Again, if it said parallel, it'd be the identical slope. But since it's perpendicular, you take the slope, you change the sign and flip it, and then you'll have your actual slope, which is positive two over one, which we're just gonna write as positive two, okay? Now it does pass through the point x1, y1, the negative one comma two. So they are asking this time for point slope form. So all, all we have to do is plug it in and we're done. So there's my form. I'm going to rewrite it with blank spots. Y minus Y1 equals M parenthesis X minus X1. All I have to do is plug in the slope of 2 right there. Plug in the Y value of 2. Whoa, almost went the wrong way. Y value of 2 right there. And the X value of negative 1 over there. And of course, minus minus changes to plus plus, and that is our answer. So we have y minus two, y minus two equals two uh, x plus one. Yep, y minus two equals two parentheses x plus one. This is our answer. And I don't know, maybe if you did distribute and move that two over, you would get this, but they are not asking for slope intercept form, they're asking for point slope form, and that is our answer. Okay, uh, a lot of people messed up on this one. I like this question because it does require you to know everything from this section. Um, it says write an equation of the line that passes through the points negative two, negative six, and four, six um, in slope intercept form. So we need to know the slope formula. M equals y two minus y one over x two minus x one. We also need to know once we find that slope, once we find that m value and we could use any point we want, I'm going to use this first point. Uh, once we use, once we have the slope and we have that first point, we could do point slope form. And then after that, because it's asking for <clears throat> for slope intercept form, after that we would have to change it to slope intercept form. Okay, I apologize. It got a little ugly right there. Um, anyway, yeah, we need to know everything on this single question, right? So we're going to begin with the slope and to use slope. I recommend doing the division and the subtractions first and 
we're going to plug in our y2 value, which is 6, our y1 value, which is negative 6, our x2 value, which is 4, and our x1 value, which is negative 2. Again, I just use the slope formula. And when we do this math, 6 plus 6 is 12, 4 plus 2 is 6. That means that our m value equals 2. So we definitely need the m value of 2. Now, after we found, or right now we got the m value and we have some points, let's go for point slope form. Point slope form is y minus y1 equals m parenthesis x minus x1. So the y1 value is negative 6, the x1 value is negative 2, and the slope is 2. So all we need to do now is uh, distribute the 2. After changing minus minus to plus plus, distribute the 2. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. Bring down the equal sign. You have a y plus 6. Final step would be to get y by itself, which is minus 6, minus 6. So your final answer will be y equals 2x minus 2. So I know I kind of went all over the place here, but the points were negative 2, negative 6, and 4, 6. I probably should have rewritten those because we begin with these two coordinates, negative 2, negative 6, and 4, 6, and we used the slope formula to find the slope using those points. After that, once we had the slope and one of those points, we plugged it into point slope form. And then after that, because they're asking us to change the slope intercept, all we did was distribute the m and get rid of this guy to get y equals mx plus v. So it looks like we struggled with that question. I hope we don't struggle with it on tomorrow's quiz. I mean, this, this is a true question that requires everything from these two sections. Bless you. Last one, state the slope. And a lot of people messed up on this one. I, I don't know why, but let's zoom in. And remember, slope is simply rise over run, but you need two nice points. Don't just go for the y-intercept, right? I mean, the y-intercept's ugly. Where's it at? One, two, three, I don't know, maybe three and a half. That's not good, right? So you want two nice points. So just go anywhere on the line. To, like, that's not a nice point. But hey, this, is right, this right here is a nice point. So you could think, okay, I want to compare that point with another nice point, which would be this one right here, right? And if I, from left to right... I'm not going up from left to right. I'm going down. That's really a rise of negative 1. And then I'm running 2. So the run's always positive. I now know that my slope is negative 1 half. And a lot of people got that wrong. I mean, a lot of people got it right, but there's too many people. There's 6, uh, 10, 11% of us got that wrong. That's supposed to be like a free point right there. Pick two points, count rise over run, look at the line from left to right. Okay guys, so I want to do one more question because there will be at least three questions on parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And these are, I think, are, are easy questions, right? There's only three options. Let's not mess up on these. Now what do I mean by not mess up on these? All you have to do is compare the slope. Parallel lines have the identical slope, exactly the same slope. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes, but in order to see the slopes, you either have to have it in y equals mx plus b form or point slope form. That is the only way you're going to be able to see the m value. If it's not in the in y equals mx plus b or point slope, you're not going to be able to see the m value, so you won't be able to tell if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So with that said, um, the first one is definitely not in either form. Actually, both of them are going to have to change to y equals mx plus b. Um, not point slope. So we've got to change both of them to y equals mx plus b. So let's do that. We're going to go minus 2x, minus 2x. We're going to have 3y equals negative 2x plus 12. Final step would be to divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. Final equations, y equals, we have a negative 2 divided by 3, x plus 4. And you could clearly see that the slope is negative 2 thirds. Now when we do the other one, we divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. We end up with the equation y equals, and that's a positive 3 over 2, x plus 
five halves, 2.5, whatever you want to call it. We don't even care about the B value. We care about the slopes. And when we compare the negative two thirds with the positive three halves, we could conclude that these are perpendicular because this one's negative, this one's positive, this one's two thirds, and the other one is three halves, right? Which is simply the reciprocal. So remember, perpendicular slopes have opposite reciprocal slopes. Change the sign, flip the fraction. So those are definitely perpendicular. Of course, if you don't have, if like if one's, if they're both positive, it's going to be neither, right? If they're both identical, it's going to be parallel, right? 